cashmere, y'all know that I'm from Sutter Ave, Linden Plaza, that's Cypress Hills, PHs Yeah, what up? It's Cash Man, chilling out with the Goonies out in East New York, Brooklyn. I'm right here. Y'all already know what it is. We in the hood, chilling, getting it in. You know what I mean? I'm chilling with Jen. Reality TV, y'all already know what it is. They got that new issue out with Paps, J on them niggas on it. Now I'm on the second issue about to smash these niggas and get it in. Okay, all the little situations. I get into it for you real quick. This G G I N T V, you know what I mean? Got locked up doing my little thing out of town. You know what I mean? Doing what I do, you know what the hood do. You know what I mean? Getting this money, doing what I gotta do. And you know what I mean? Did a little seven months. Now I'm back on on attack. Check out the new CD hosted by P Cutter. You know what I mean? The proposal part two. We back to business. It's in stores now. It's doing pretty good internet wise too. Go check it out on the um hiphopgame.com. I got about five joints up there. I'm really smashing them up on the internet. It's the wave of the future. So I'm really getting in on that real quick. But right now we shooting videos. You can catch me on the other DVDs, all the other DVDs. But it ain't about that right now. We chilling with GIN DVD right now, smashing these niggas. But I just been getting it in, working hard, like eight months. Right, right now I've been doing so many shows and all that, and getting it in that I'm really relevant right now. Just bring myself back. It's like God give me a second chance. Shit, I was facing like five to seven years. You know what I mean, I got caught with the worst drug on the street. So you know what I mean. You get caught with enough of that, you ain't coming home. But God is good, so I'm home, chilling with me and my nigga. Yeah. Blue, see yeah. Peter Boss, y'all gonna be seeing his face real heavy. You know what I mean? You see my man Cream Minds, he produce any rap. Y'all gonna be hearing about him. He got a joint on the album. Oh yeah, how could I not promote the album like crazy? The Heroin Project, the album, my official first album, will be out real soon. I ain't gonna disclose no date. I don't do that, Miss God, my fans and do. You know what I mean? I fuck with the fans. If you fuck with me, I fuck with you. And if you met up with me, you know that nigga. Anytime a nigga fuck with me and really show that he fuck with me, then I'ma fuck with him and help him do what he gotta do. But right now, that heroin project is gonna be crazy. We trying to, Joel Ortiz is gonna be on that. I got a lot of other features that y'all gonna hear about. I'm trying to get Joe Buttons on that. He see that, you know what I mean? I see he doing his thing in the streets heavy. I respect niggas that's really doing what they gotta do, really moving them units and really doing what they gotta do. So, and if your, your rap game crazy, your rap game gotta be crazy. So, the Heroin Project, though, will be in stores real soon. I'm already halfway done with it. It's gonna be crazy. Producers out the ass on it, you know what I mean? It's gonna be crazy, though. That's what I've been up to, though, recording that album. I got about three mixtapes lined up where, you know what I mean, I'm just chilling. Got music for days. Y'all gonna be hearing it. Check me out. Check my um website out at www cashadministration.com big shouts to my whole cash administration click that's my company you know what i mean we get money we doing what we got to do man y'all gonna see us it's gonna be a hot summer man like real hot summer so i was hearing a lot of south niggas like low boozy is going crazy they go crazy over there for low y'all thought they loved the way low boozy crazy out there big shouts to him we did a joint together too um you know what i mean the guns joint with bumpy pat dub c and all that but I was just looking at the game. I seen the videos and seeing what people was doing. You know what I mean? It had me fucking tight. <laughs> I could be facing five to seven. I'm doing seven years in, 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 in bunker land. You know, I don't know nobody. It had me tight. But, you know, I, much love to everybody out there rapping, doing their thing. But looking at the game now, as far as where I'm from, it, it, the door wide open. And I'm about to just run through the lane and smash all these niggas. You know what I mean? No disrespect or nothing, but... Ain't none of y'all niggas fucking with me. You know what I mean? I'm keeping it like that. I'm about to just smash these niggas. Get it in on these niggas. 
I fucking shut the game down how I'm supposed to, how I've been supposed to. Y'all know who I am, man. Ain't nothing changed, man. Still the youngest side of them niggas y'all talk about. Still the illest side of them niggas y'all talk about. Songwriting, I smash niggas. Niggas know what it is, man. And I'm chilling in East New York with G.I. and TV. Me and my peoples. And we getting it in, man. Keep it hundred with you. Like, I got showed a lot of love, but I got showed a lot of love. But it was funny, like, a lot of niggas were showing me love that I didn't even... You know what I mean? No, like niggas that was supposed to show me love ain't even show me love, but like DJ Victorious, he wrote me. Motherfucking Don DeMarco was showing love, you know what I mean? He hit me up like, what's up with Cashmere? All this Michael's Real Talk DVD, he showed crazy love. Uh, a lot of niggas show love. My whole Cash Administration click, how can I not say y'all ain't show love? Rama, motherfucking AB, Black. You know what I mean? Everybody. A lot, I got a lot of love. And when I came home, I got a lot of love. I came home straight as soon as I came home. I went to go to D.C. Pete Cutter put me in the show. I was all over. You know what I mean? Niggas like Cashmere Home. Yo, I'm going to perform at D.C. at Club Bar None. And we smashed that. We've been talking to a few distributors. Like, I had beats with SRC. I had beat a little beat with Border Brothers. I had a little beat with uh, Atlantic. Brian Berg over there. Uh, what else? As far as, like, independence. We've been um, trying to holler at Koch. They showing love back. I'm supposed to send them another tag. <coughs> uh, Imperial, I got, it. you know what I mean? They, my boy, G, D G the Don. Big shouts to Queens, you know what I mean? The whole Capital One Entertainment. They just got a distribution deal over there. So he came to me and we sat down and talked. And he trying to see what the lawyer's doing now. He trying to get a better deal with, you know what I mean? He can get a nigga like me, you know what I mean? A good, good chance, you know what I mean? Good shout out there. But either I might go major with it or I might go independent. But it will come out in 08. That's a problem. Y'all DJs ain't really showing them y'all rappers love. Like, they showing them love to a certain extent. Big shout out to DJ Enough, K Slate. You know what I mean? Them niggas, them dudes, them dudes show love. You, know you started I mean? out with K Slate, right? Mm hmm. How'd that come Actually, about? Actually, I started out with DJ Enough. Actually, I okay. got on this Raphael Sadiq remix. Um, He was signed to Universal. Remember that Still Ray song? And I got on a remix to that. We supposed to, I was supposed to get in the video, but I guess he thought I was a Brooklyn nigga. You know what I mean? Damn, this nigga then popped it off out here. But the remix was playing crazy. Enough was showing mad love, you know what I mean, on it. And from there, Slade heard me and he took off with me. But it actually made me as far as the streets is concerned and all that. So he took off with me. I was on every K Slade mixtape, features, albums. <clears throat> Uh, 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 every Thursday night I played on the drama hour, two and three spins. So he, he basically, you know what I mean, helped create this dude Cashmere, you know what I mean? So I gotta say much love to say much love to enough, but a lot of DJs be really, you know what I mean? You hear more South stuff out here, yeah, a lot of South stuff out here. Crazy it used to be here. with, um, manhood, what happened with that situation? <laughs> what happened with that? I mean... Big shouts to manhood, you know what I mean? I ain't got nothing against manhood. I know the streets. This is like, oh, exclusive. You know what I mean, right now. But what happened with me and manhood, we just ain't see eye to eye. A lot of things wasn't going how it's supposed to be going. That's, that's how I felt. And I just bounced, like, you know what I mean? I bounced. <laughs> you know what I mean? Ain't nobody dropped me. Ain't none of that happened. Ain't whatever, whatever. I bounced. I boogie and... Did my own thing, got my own company, got my own click, did what I had to do, and now I'm here. Like, yeah, I got locked up in the process and all that, whatever, whatever. And you know what I mean, took a couple of wrong turns. But I'm here and I'm smashing these niggas and I'm about to keep killing these niggas. But with the male situation, we ain't see eye to eye, you know what I mean? I just chose to go my own way and do my own thing because a lot of things wasn't right over there. I feel like I should have been where I was supposed to be over there, you know what I mean? As many spins as I was getting. As much notoriety that I was getting, and a lot of niggas was getting signed, a lot of niggas was doing this, but you know what I mean? But I helped build that movement, manhood. I did, I, I was there from this gate, and y'all already know, you know what I mean? Y'all been hearing it from me, from anything, and now y'all ain't even hearing it no more because ain't nobody hollering at how they supposed to be hollering, but it's all about that CA click right now, man. You